The two presidents swaggered into the glass dome, one from either side. The crowd, citizens from each empire, separated by a transparent metal partition, cheered and jeered in equal measure. President Putin waved a photo of her great-grandfather in the air, and President Trump held the photo of his great-grandfather against his chest. Photos of the presidents who simultaneously, and some said with prior agreement, had made their positions hereditary. Larissa scratched her nose, something she did when she was excited or scared. She was both. Tickets had been really hard to come by and she was ridiculously excited. But every time she pictured telling her baby son that she'd been at this momentous event in person, she was hit by the fear that the world might not survive long enough for him to hear the story. The president ceremoniously bowed and took off their shirts. They sat and stared at each other across the table with their skin glistening from the sweat of being fully pumped with enhancements and implants. The psychological build-up to, ne to the negotiations had begun. There was a lot at stake. Energy resources were low and both empires wanted control of what little was left, either to sell at crippling prices or to hoard for their own. The fate of millions of citizens depended on these two champions and whether they could negotiate a solution. Alternatively, if their desire for global domination took over, a winner would have to be decided through a series of challenges set by the resident AI. President Trump slammed his fist down and snarled at his enemy who, if the rumours were true, was his half-sister. President Putin smiled back with the characteristic twinkle in her eye that Larissa loved. Elbows were placed firmly on the table and they locked hands. The crowd erupted with applause. The warm-up rituals had begun. Off to the side, tech teams moved sliders up and down to adjust the implants inside their champion's body. Enhancements that were limited to the rich and powerful. The traditional hand clap began slowly, gradually picking up pace until Putin slammed her opponent's arm onto the table for the third time. She'd won. The surface of the table displayed what seemed to be two random sets of different coloured shapes, a puzzle. The tech guys went crazy, shifting the focus of the enhancements from physical to mental. Immediately, Putin started shuffling her pieces around with phenomenal speed and dexterity, glancing across to her tech guys every few seconds. Her citizens were whooping with joy. Larissa felt the bitter pleasure of being on the winning side. Sweat poured down Trump's face and the veins in his forehead were enlarged. His citizens were silent. He seemed confused, frozen as if he'd been paused. And then a grin appeared and his tech guys relaxed. Something had clicked. With a calmness that was starkly at odds with the topless, sweaty president of the arm wrestling, he moved his pieces with precision. An engineering diagram of an earpiece took shape. Cleverly, the AI, the AI had chosen something pertinent. It was the negotiator's number one tool, a nifty little device that instantly translated one spoken language to another. Essential, since each president had made a conscious and public decision not to learn the other's language. A facilitator strolled across to the table and put an identical earpiece in the left ear of each president. Putin opened the negotiations by punching the air and shouting. Larissa couldn't lip-read and only the approved commentators were allowed to listen in broadcasting their interpretation to the crowd through the official headphones. She tuned in to Putin's channel. 
The commentator was spouting the usual drivel they resorted to when there was nothing to say, repeating the inevitable name-calling and self-congratulatory nonsense. Boring. Her attention drifted, searching the crowd for anyone she recognised or fancied. Suddenly, the audience became agitated as the channels fizzed with the rapid-fire chatter of excited commentators. Unbelievable. Trump has the audacity to threaten to alter the weather and dry up our rivers. That's an act of old-fashioned war, surely. Putin raised her finger slowly, pointing at Trump's forehead. Larissa switched channel. She's reminding him they still have the old weapons, threatening to use them unless we sell them our wave energy at a reasonable price. Putin mimicked the firing of a gun. And I quote, said the commentator, comply or we eradicate your citizens in a cloud of radiation. Larissa sat back deflated. She'd hoped for more, hoped for at least an attempt to find a solution. She blinked rapidly to activate her lenses and tapped her wedding ring so it displayed a live hologram of her baby son at home gurgling and without a care in the world. The poisonous commentary from her headphones made her feel sick, so she switched them off and focused on her baby. So cute. She wiggled her finger and he rolled around as if he was being tickled. Everyday life, family, that's what mattered. Just as she was wondering if she could call it a day and go home, the crowd gasped. She looked up. Both presidents were serious and thoughtful. She tuned in. I can't say for certain, but even with my limited understanding, I'd say it's faulty. It's not translating exactly what's being said. But hey, look at the result. They're compromising. She switched channels. This is a new angle from Trump, one that President Putin can work with. I have no idea what brought this on. It's transformative. Stillness settled across the crowd. What was happening? Neither commentator seemed to know, and the commentator who had spotted the faulty translations was saying they'd been fixed, but that a corner had been turned, and remarkably, the negotiations were continuing to be positive. The whole room was in a state of shock, staring at the two presidents, shaking hands. Incredible. A synthesized androgynous voice whispered through her headphones. It was a new voice, not one of the authorized commentators. She listened carefully. We are Occupy Babel, hacking for the future of your children. <laughs>